Fractured Minds is another game that was recently added to Xbox Game Pass. It is a psychological exploration of mental illness, such as anxiety or depression, and the game focuses on several puzzles to have the player explore that topic. Let's start off with the obvious. This game really makes you feel like you have depression. That's a joke. Mostly. Honestly, that is the general purpose of the game. It seeks to teach the player to have some empathy for what someone may be going through as they struggle to live their lives under the burden of mental illness. It's a pretty impressive and lofty goal for any game to have. But some things to note about this game, it's incredibly short. I think it took me less than 30 minutes to beat it. Um, it looks pretty bad, uh, and the scary smiley character that's supposed to represent the mental illness, he mostly kind of just makes me laugh. So I'm not sure that's the reaction that the game developer was going for. I did play this game just for the achievements as well, uh, but I figured I could also talk about it a little bit. It was made by only one person who was only 17 at the time. Okay, that does make the game much more impressive as the developer was so young and also all on their own. Uh, it did win a BAFTA. Uh, don't worry, I had to Google it too. It stands for the British Academy of Fine Arts for game design. Uh, it was made as part of the BAFTA Young Game Designers Contest. Um, that's to say, the fact that this won an award kind of is insulting to game awards in general, uh, but we'll kind of get into that. The game has a good goal in mind. The actual gameplay, graphics, and puzzles are all secondary to, well, the message. And I want to make it clear that I think that's totally okay. Game designers can do whatever they want with their creative intent behind the project. It's not my job to tell a game developer what the intention should be behind a creative project that they are the ones making. Someone wants to make a game where the message is placed in the forefront, in this case it would be mental illness, then it's not my place to step in and say, um, well actually it should be about gameplay because that is what video games are all about. Um, when do you shoot the terrorists in the head? And unfortunately, that's how a lot of people seem to view games like this. But here's the problem. Many of the games that seek to provide a unique perspective on the world or to tell a modern story choose to do so in the most uninteresting way possible. Some examples include Gone Home, Dear Esther, Firewatch, and many more. They all fall into that category of walking simulator because the gameplay takes a backseat to the storyline or the message of the game. My problem is I think that this type of game does a disservice to the message that the game is actually trying to send. By making a piece of art that people will remember with mixed feelings, that takes away from the message of the game. For instance, I could write an album and that album could have the most positive, inclusive, and life-changing message but it would also sound like a pair of cats fighting in a dumpster being recorded through a rubber hose. So that message probably is not gonna be received well by many people. Fractured Minds kind of falls into this category. The game itself is so simple and looks so eh, that the message gets lost by the fact that when somebody actually plays it, they're gonna be distracted by all those things rather than really soaking up the message that the developer is trying to send. Now, I'm not saying this game needs to have more action, okay? People who think that are Neanderthals, and they can just stick to playing Madden or Call of Duty or some other shit. I'm saying that the walking simulator games can be well-developed, well-crafted experiences that really immerse the player into a new experience. I'm not really sure that Fractured Minds is one of those experiences. Again, Due to the context of the creation of this game, like one teenage developer, I am going to kind of give it a pass. There are some 17 year olds who can't add two numbers together or do anything other than watch TikTok all day, so the fact that this one made a fully developed game is pretty impressive, even if the game only takes like 20 minutes to beat. I just want the message to be packaged into something that people will actually appreciate and learn from. That's the way to spark change in the minds of people who maybe misunderstand mental illness, and that's really important. Fractured Minds doesn't really do that in any tangible way. If I had actually spent money on this game, I would be disappointed in my purchase. But luckily for me, it was part of Game Pass, so I just kind of went, meh, well, thousand gamer score, and then moved on with my life. So, I guess it's okay, but I wouldn't play it necessarily if I were you. That's my review. <laughs>